significant rainfall five to 10 inches in the southeastern Bahamas. And we're still seeing going to see heavy rainfall in portions of Hispaniola with a six to eight additional inches across southern Haiti, Dominican Republic, with dangerous conditions playing out there. So wrapping up with the key messages, we're just going to focus in on Jamaica right now. This is an extremely dangerous, life-threatening situation. Take cover now. Catastrophic winds with total structural failure likely near the path of Maria's core as the eye wall moves across portions of western Jamaica. Do not go out in the eye as it passes your area. Catastrophic flash flooding landslides and destructive winds are expected to cross the remainder of the island, causing widespread infrastructure damage, communications loss, power loss in isolated communities, and along the southern coast, life-threatening storm surge and damaging waves expected throughout the day. So please stay safe. Pay attention to information you're getting from your local government officials and your local meteorological service, and come back here to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Melissa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan. Center just after 11 a.m. on Tuesday with an update on uh, catastrophic Hurricane Melissa, a Category 5 storm, maximum sustained winds around 185 miles per hour this morning, uh, poised to make landfall on uh, the southwestern coast of Jamaica here in the next hour or two. Uh, right now, Melissa is now moving more steadily toward the north-northeast at nine miles per hour, uh, expected to make landfall here in the next couple hours in St. Elizabeth, uh, Westmoreland parishes, uh, the northern portion of the eye wall now starting to move on shore in areas like Black River, uh, Barbary Hall, Blunters. Uh, it's going to be a very dangerous scenario. It's now starting to play out in the next few hours as the eye of Melissa moves across Jamaica today. Uh, catastrophic wind damage expected in the eye wall here. You know, total bu building failures. Uh, and the winds will be even higher up here in the areas of high topography. Could have wind gusts over 200 miles per hour in some of those high mountains here across Jamaica. We're also going to see that storm surge play out here in the next couple of hours along the south coast, near and to the right of where the center crosses the coast. Could see inundation of nine to 13 feet above ground level with destructive wave action on top of it. So everybody in Jamaica needs to be in their safe place. Stay indoors. Do not go out when the eye crosses over. There will be a period of relative calm, but with the forward speed increasing and the very small size of the eye, winds will pick up and dangerous conditions will pick up very quickly uh, as the backside of the eye moves uh, through. So do not go outside. Plan to shelter in place throughout the day today. On the rainfall front, uh, rainfall forecast has not changed, expecting widespread 15 to 30 inches of rainfall, already seeing pictures of flooding uh, in the Kingston area this morning. Isolated rainfall totals could be as high as 40 inches in locations, producing catastrophic, life-threatening uh, flooding, numerous landslides uh, in these areas. So just a catastrophic situation playing out here for Jamaica through the rest of today uh, into tonight. Now zooming out to the impacts that we're going to see in other areas as the center of Melissa moves off the north coast of Jamaica, we're expecting it to make landfall in southeastern Cuba overnight tonight or early Wednesday morning. We have hurricane warnings in effect for much of eastern Cuba. Uh, then the center of Melissa will move out into the southwestern Atlantic and through the southeastern Bahamas during the day on Wednesday into Wednesday evening where we have hurricane warnings in effect as well. Storm surge along the southeast Cuban coast 8 to 12 feet above normal tide levels five to eight feet of inundation possible in the southeastern Bahamas uh, near where the eye uh, passes through. And again, dangerous major hurricane force winds expected across portions of southeastern Cuba with uh, 10 to 20 inches of rainfall, isolated rainfall totals here in some of these areas as high as 25 inches. Again, catastrophic flash flooding and landslides likely in areas of high terrain. Significant rainfall, five to 10 inches in the southeastern Bahamas. And we're still seeing going to see heavy rainfall in portions of Hispanic with a six to eight additional inches across southern Haiti, Dominican Republic, with dangerous conditions playing out there. So wrapping up with the key messages, we're just going to focus in on Jamaica right now. This is an extremely dangerous, life-threatening situation. Take cover now. Catastrophic winds with total structural failure likely near the path of Maria's core as the eye wall moves across portions of western Jamaica. Do not go out in the eye as it passes your area. Catastrophic flash flooding landslides and destructive winds are expected to cross the remainder of the island, causing widespread infrastructure damage, communications loss, power loss in isolated communities, and along the southern coast, life-threatening storm surge and damaging waves expected throughout the day. So please stay safe. Pay attention to information you're getting from your local government officials and your local meteorological service, and come back here to the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov for the latest on Melissa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.